dear students in continuation with our uh, units on uh, quantum chemistry today we will be dealing with hermitian operators so far we have seen about the algebra of operators definition of operator and then the properties of operator we have seen that is commutative properties and the linear property now uh, we had also seen about the operators different types of operators that are used like uh, the hamiltonian operator or we had seen about the momentum operator the angular momentum operators now we will see about another operator which is of very much use in chemistry that is hermitian operators these are the operators which are used normally in the chemistry to deal with uh, different uh, particles that are uh, of interest for chemistry like electrons or nucleus their movements for that uh, we require uh, operators and those operators we call it as hermitian operators these are the operators which have a specific uh, conditions if they uh, satisfy this condition then the operators are called as hermitian operators we need to remember that all operators of interest all operators of interest in chemistry are hermitian operators so whatever operator we will be using in chemistry those all will be hermitian operators that is they all will be satisfying uh, the conditions for hermitian operators the definition for hermitian operator is that uh, if we have uh, an operator that is let an operator a has two eigen functions has two eigen functions psi and phi and if integration of psi operator a operating on phi d tau equals integration of operator a operating on psi into phi d tau for phi and psi are real or integration of psi star d phi d tau equals integration of a Psi star phi d tau for psi and phi are complex numbers where psi star is complex conjugate. of psi and d tau is the volume element of space in which the function is defined. In which the function is defined then if this condition is satisfied then the operator a cap is called hermitian operator operator a cap is called hermitian operator so, uh, if uh, operator A has two eigenfunctions, any operator can have n number of eigenfunctions. 
just remember this that any operator can have n number of eigen functions you can say for example b square by bx square is uh, having eigen functions like e to the power of ix and also sin x also cos x b square by bx square uh, jo operator hai wo operator ke that is we have b square by bx square is an operator or it has eigen functions like e to the power of i mx or e to the power of mx sin mx cos mx these are eigen functions for b square by dx square so ye char eigen functions hai b square by dx square ke aur bhi dusre bhi hain eigen functions b square by dx square ke so uh, ek hi operator ke kafi sare eigen functions ho sakte hain so waise koi bhi do eigen functions hum le rahe hain psi and phi which are eigen functions for operator a then if we are having uh, uh, integration of psi Uh, operator a operated on phi d tau will be equal to integration of operator a operated on phi into phi d tau agar ye condition uh, satisfy hota hai then it is called uh, the operator a is called as hermitian operator or if psi is a complex conjugate then psi, uh, integration of psi star a tau a phi d tau or equals to integration of a psi star phi d tau अगर ये कंडीशन सेटिस्फाई होता है देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर ए इज कॉल्ड एज हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर मींस कि इंटीग्रेशन करने में के बाद इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटेड ऑन वन ऑफ द फंक्शन विल बी इक्वल टू द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटेड ऑन अनदर फंक्शन देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर That such operators are called as Hermitian operators. We will see examples of these Hermitian operators a little later. But uh, the Hermitian operators has certain characteristics or certain properties. Properties of Hermitian operators. there are two properties of hermitian operators two important properties of hermitian operators one is eigen values of a hermitian operator eigen values of a hermitian operator are always real whether the operate uh, function psi is a complex or a real function uska eigen value hamesha real hi rahega it may have a positive or a negative value it may have a positive or a negative value but it will always be real it will not be a complex number so uh, that is one uh, important property of hermitian operator so it will always give solutions which are real solutions not the complex solutions second is the eigen functions of a hermitian operator eigen functions of a hermitian operator corresponding to different eigen values corresponding to different eigen values are orthogonal to each other that is कि अगर दो आइगन फंक्शन है 
जो कि आपको दो अलग अलग आइगन वैल्यूज दे रहे इफ दे आर गिविंग डिफरेंट आइगन वैल्यूज देन द टू फंक्शन दैट इज टू आइगन फंक्शन विल बी और If they are giving different eigen values, then they will be uh, orthogonal to each other. So we will see. Uh, we will prove both of these uh, properties. Let's say first we will prove the uh, first property that is eigen values of Hermitian operator are all real. Eigen values of Hermitian operators are real. For this, let operator A be a Hermitian operator. Let operator A be the Hermitian operator, and psi. be its eigen function which gives lambda as the eigen value which gives lambda as the eigen value so that we have operator a operating on psi equals lambda psi Let this be our equation number one, and operator A operating on psi star equals lambda star psi star. Let this be our equation number two. What we have to prove is that lambda is equal to lambda star. So, if our function eigen function real is there. तब जो आइगन वैल्यू मिलता है वही कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है तो भी वही वैल्यू मिलता है तो so, अगर हमारा आइगन फंक्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स है या रियल है हमारा आइगन वैल्यू विल ऑलवेज बी रियल आइगन वैल्यू विल ऑलवेज बी रियल इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द आइगन फंक्शन तो व्हाट वी हैव टू प्रूव हियर इज लैम्ब्रा इज इक्वल टू लैम्ब्रा स्टार सो फॉर दैट व्हाट वी विल डू इज वी विल मल्टीप्लाई इक्वेशन 1 मल्टीप्लाई इक्वेशन 1 बाय Here it is psi is there, so we will multiply it by psi star, and equation two, जो कि psi star का equation है, so equation two will be multiplied by psi and integrate it. Integrate the equation. And integrate the equation, we will get. इंटीग्रेशन पहला हमारा साइ स्टार से मल्टीप्लाई किया है सो इट विल बी साइ स्टार ए साइ बी टाउ विल बी इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइ स्टार लैमरा साइ बी टाउर वी विल हैव इट लैमरा इज ए आइगन वैल्यू सो इट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट सो इट गोज आउट ऑफ दी Integration value, so we will have it here in, uh, that lambda into integration of psi star psi d tau. Let this be our equation number three. यहाँ पे हमने क्या किया है lambda is eigen value, so it is a constant and so comes out of the integration. So we have taken that as outside. Now. <coughs> Here we get equation two becomes यहाँ पे था equation two and equation three becomes हमने equation three को और sorry this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two becomes equation one को हमने psi star से multiply किया था equation two को psi से so uh, upon integration With equation number uh, two, psi से मल्टीप्लाई करने के बाद psi into 
the operator a operating on a star b tau equals to integration of psi lambda star psi star b tau similar here lambda star is a our uh, uh, constant eigen value so bahar aayega then we will have here as psi psi star b tau let this be our equation number 4 now from uh, p and 4 what we can say is that since operator a is hermitian operator ऑपरेटर ए इज हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर हमारा एल एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू एल एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन फोर हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर का जो हमारा डेफिनेशन है दट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइ स्टार ए साइ डी टाउ शुड बी इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ए साइ स्टार साइ डी टाउ तो एल एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन थ्री शुड बी इक्वल टू एल एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन फोर that is integration of psi that is psi star a psi b tau should be equal to integration of psi a psi star b tau so uh, this is the uh, rhs tha equation 4 uh, the 3 ka that is lambda into integration lambda into integration of psi star psi d tau should be equal to lambda star that is uh, rhs of equation 4 lambda star integration of psi psi star d tau now what we can get from these two is that ye jo integration part hai dono mein common hai so this gets cancelled so what we will have is lambda is equal to lambda star and eigen values of hermitian operator real because lambda cannot be conjugate because wahan pe dono hi functions jo jo lambda this eigen this eigen value hai wo hamara psi hai psi is a real function and psi star is its complex conjugate so psi real hai to uska jo eigen value hoga wo bhi real hi rahega complex conjugate ka eigen value complex ho sakta hai aur real ho sakta hai lekin agar wo operator hermitian operator hai तो कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट का भी आइगन वैल्यू हमेशा रियल ही रहेगा वो हमें यहां से मिलता है एज लैमरा इज ऑलवेज रियल तो लैमरा स्टार विल ऑल्सो बी रियल दट इज वी गेट दी फर्स्ट प्रूफ फॉर सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव आइगन फंक्शन of hermitian operator corresponding eigen functions of hermitian operator corresponding to different eigen values are ऑर्थोगोनल टू ईच अदर तो ऑर्थोगोनैलिटी का हमारा जो कंडीशन है इट शुड सेटिस्फाई दैट पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन देन इट विल बी वी कैन से दैट इट इज ऑर्थोगोनल टू ईच अदर सो वी कैन प्रूव फॉर दिस फॉर दैट पर्पज व्हाट वी रिक्वायर इज दो आइगेन फंक्शन हमें यहां पे लगेंगे 
एक आइगन फंक्शन से नहीं होता है वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट इट इज ऑर्थोगोनल मींस दो फंक्शंस ऑर्थोगोनल टू ईच अदर सो वी विल हैव लेट साइ1 एंड साइ2 बी द टू आइगन फंक्शंस बी द टू आइगन फंक्शंस ऑफ फर्मिशन ऑपरेटर corresponding to two eigen values lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively such that lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 because we have two different eigen values they are corresponding to different eigen values means lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 so that we have to remember it lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 now uh, for this uh, the condition for orthogonality is we have defined the orthogonality as integration of psi1 psi2 d tau is equal to 0 or integration of psi1 psi2 star d tau is equal to 0 or integration of psi1 star psi2 d tau is equal to 0 if it satisfies any of these conditions any of these three conditions then we call this as orthogonal functions psi1 psi2 ye teen mein se koi bhi ek condition satisfy karte hain so we will call the psi1 and psi2 as orthogonal to each other so what we can have by definition or uh, from uh, the assumptions that we have it uh, we have the eigen value equations A psi uh, A psi one equals lambda one psi one. Let this be our equation number two. And we have A psi two equals lambda two psi two. And let this be our equation number three. Multiplying. like what we had done it uh, in the previous one here also we will multiply multiplying equation 2 by yahan pe hamara psi1 hai so hum complex conjugate uska lenge that is psi2 star by psi2 star and on integrate integrate we get integration of psi2 star aur fir yahan pe hamara a psi1 d tau equals integration of psi2 star lambda1 psi1 theta lambda1 hamara constant hai eigen value hai so it will come out and integration of psi2 star psi1 d tau this will be our equation number 4 since operator a is hermitian operator a is a hermitian operator we have integration of psi2 star a psi1 d tau 
that is LHS of this equation 4 should be equal to by definition integration of operator A psi 2 star into psi 1 beta. Whatever this we should have it. So from this what we can get is operator A when operate, operates on uh, psi 2 star we will get lambda 2 psi 2 star. Now, here we have to prove that uh, the uh, eigenvalue will always be real. So, lambda 2 star is not the same, lambda 2 is the same. And this will be psi 1 beta. Operator A operating on psi 2 star, that is, since operator A operating on psi 2 star should be equal to lambda 2 into psi 2 star. This is our eigenvalue equation. Hai for the psi 2 star. So that we are using it here. Here we have our lambda 2 eigenvalue, so it will be moving outside the integration sign. So we will have psi 2 star into psi 1 beta. Let this be our equation number 5. Equation 4 or equation 5 ka LHS same here. So, RHS should also be equal. Hence, thus, from equation 4 and 5, we have Unka dono ka LHS or uh, dono ka LHS same hai, is liya amara RHS bhi unka same rehega. So, lambda 1 integration of psi 2 star psi 1 d tau should be equal to lambda 2 psi 2 uh, integration of psi 2 star psi 1 beta. Now, we cannot equate uh, dono ka integration sign dono mein same, lekin hum isko cut uh, uh, kar sakte hain. Because अगर ये हम cut करते हैं तो क्या होगा? Lambda one is equal to lambda two. लेकिन हमने जो condition रखा था for different eigenvalues. Different eigenvalues means lambda one not equal to lambda two. Since lambda one is not equal to lambda two, we have lambda one integration of psi 2 star psi 1 d tau minus lambda 2 integration of psi 2 star psi 1 d tau is equal to 0. Ye dono common hai, so that we can take it outside. So it will be lambda 1 minus lambda 2 into integration of psi 2 star psi 1 d tau is equal to 0. Since lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2, lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2, integration of psi 2 star into psi 1 d tau should be equal to 0. Agar hi amara RHS mein 0 ana chahiye, to either this uh, that is lambda 1 minus lambda 2 should be equal to 0, ya phir ye integration amara 0 ana chahiye. Lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2, so wo amara 0 nahi hoga. So integration should be equal to 0. Now integration is equal to 0 means psi 1 and psi 2 are orthogonal to each other. Hence, two functions, two eigen functions. Psi 1 and Psi 2 are orthogonal to each other. Hence the proof. So, uh, uh, we will take an example for this. Examine d square by dx square. Examine if d square by dx square is a Hermitian operator. Yeah. 
is a Hermitian operator, we have to uh, determine this. And for that, we need to have functions. Two functions we can have it for this let psi equals e to the power of i x and pi equals sin x be the two acceptable eigenfunctions be the two acceptable eigenfunctions now for an operator to be for an operator to be hermitian operator integration of psi operator a operates on phi d tau should be equal to integration of operator a operating on psi into phi d tau if this condition is followed then we call it as the operator a is a permission operator so uh, we will uh, substitute phi and psi with this two functions e to the power of ix and sin x and a by d square by dx square we will get the left hand side will be equal to or the lhs equals psi a phi d tau is equal to integration of psi is e to the power of i x into d square by dx square of sin x into dx. So this will be giving us integration of e to the power of i x into d square by dx square of sin x equals minus sin x. This we have seen it previously also in d by dx of sin x is cos x and again d by dx of uh, cos x will be minus sin x. So d square by dx square of sin x will be minus sin x of dx. So now what we can do is this minus sign can be taken outside integration of e to the power of i x sin x dx. This is our LHS, our RHS will be, that is this particular uh, equation's RHS, equation 1's RHS will be integration of operator A operating on psi into pi d tau. This will be equal to integration of operator A is d square by dx square into e to the power of i x sin x dx. This will be equal to d square by dx square of e to the power of i x will be equal to d by dx of e to the power of i x into d by dx of e to the power of that. So this will be equal to d by dx of e to the power of i x is i into e to the power of i x. i is constant can be taken outside. So i into d by dx of e to the power of i x. This will be i into i e to the power of i x. So that should be equal to i into i that is i square e to the power of i x i square is i is root of minus one so i square will be minus one into e to the power of i x so that we can substitute it over here so this will be minus one into e to the power of i x into sin x dx So here this minus one will be taken outside into integration of e to the power of i x sin dx sin x dx. So 
So let this be our equation number two and this be our equation number three. Now what we can see from two and three is that they both are same. Hence, LHS equals RHS in equation one. Therefore, d square by dx square is a Hermitian operator. या तो आपको सीधा सिर्फ फंक्शन दिया जाएगा लाइक दिस डी स्क्वायर बाय डी एक्स स्क्वायर इज ट्रू दैट इट इज एक्सटेंशन ऑपरेटर और आपको ऑपरेटर दिया जाएगा और फंक्शन दिए जाएंगे दो एंड देन यू हैव टू प्रूव इट व्हेदर इट इज अ हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर और नॉट तो इसमें आपको जो हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर का हमारा कंडीशन है इक्वेशन नंबर 1 का वो कंडीशन आपको अप्लाई करना है उसमें दोनों सब फंक्शंस को और ऑपरेटर को सब्स्टिट्यूट करना है एंड फाइंड आउट द एलएचएस एंड आरएचएस वेदर दे आर इक्वल और नॉट इफ दे आर इक्वल देन द ऑपरेटर इज हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर इफ दे आर नॉट इक्वल देन इट इज अ नॉट एन हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर सो दिस इज सिंपल टेस्ट फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट वेदर द ऑपरेटर इज अ हर्मिशियन ऑपरेटर और इट इज नॉट एन हर्मिशियन for chemistry point of view whatever operators we have it all those operators are hermitian operators we use hermitian operators only in chemistry uh, for finding out uh, different uh, physical quantities all those operators will be hermitian operators only 